Today, I'm painting one of South Africa's most notorious skyscrapers. I'm not painting it on paper, and I'm not painting it on canvas. Today, I'm painting on a baseball bat. But I'll get to why in a moment. For now, let me introduce you to the Ponty Building. This 55-story cylindrical skyscraper was built in 1975 in Berea, Johannesburg, right next door to the infamous Hillbrow. Originally though, this was highly sought after real estate. Pretty much, it was the location in location, location, location. But by the late 1980s, after years of poor maintenance and a huge surge in crime in the area, the building soon got overrun by gangs. That's where the bat comes in. We all know the stories of baseball bat landlords and debt collectors. So I thought it was fitting for us to paint our building on a baseball bat. So there's not at all that much to this building. 55 stories, 55 rings of windows, except for the top where there's a huge advertising banner that wraps around the top of the building and can be seen literally from anywhere in Johannesburg. And I'll let you know what it costs to advertise there when we get to painting that part a little bit later in this video. Right, so I think I'm gonna start by working out my advertising ring at the top here. And now we're just gonna work our way down with windows round and round and round about a million times. So I'm about halfway through the sketch of the windows and it reminded me of a really interesting fact that I uncovered while I was researching this building. Every single one of these windows is able to pivot on a central pin. So in other words, you can spin the window 180 degrees so you can clean the outside and the inside from inside the apartment. A very clever cleaning hack for a building of 55 stories. Right, let's count these. One, two, three, eight, nine, 10. 51, 52, 53, 54. Okay, one short. 55. Yay! Drawing all those windows made me feel like I was back in detention, which is kind of fitting because in the late 1990s, there was a proposal to turn Ponty into a high rise prison. That never happened, but what is gonna happen is color. It's time for color. Okay, so we've got the base layer down, all the concrete of the main part of the building. Now I wanna start concentrating on the windows and I was in two minds here. I didn't know if I should go with kind of dark, gray, dingy, lifeless windows or sort of bright and, and cheerful. And I decided to go with the light and bright and because that just shows the life inside of the building. And while the building has a bit of a sketchy past, its present is actually looking quite good. It's got a bright future ahead of it. It has been revamped, it has been sorted out, and it's been turned successfully into affordable inner city apartments. They've even got an Instagram page, go check them out. Here's a disgusting fact about this building. So remember I told you it's a cylinder? So what started happening is the residents at the top floors started throwing all their refuse down into the middle. That was kind of trending after a while and it got to a point where that garbage piled up five stories high. That's sort of 15 to 20 meters deep of just pure trash. Effectively, it became a dump. A real dump. So everybody wants to know how much does it cost to advertise on the top of Ponty? Probably the most iconic piece of advertising space in South Africa. And the best answer I can get is half a million rand a month. That's six million rand a year. Maybe one day we'll just put 
sketchy Brett over the top of Ponty. Oh, wouldn't that be rad? Right, so I've been down to my local art supply store quickly. I've got myself polymer clay and I've never used this stuff before. How hard can it be? I'm gonna just try make a bunch of air cons. I think I'm just gonna make them white for now. And then I will try and work out how I'm gonna make the little grill part. Let's see how that goes. Oh, even that's way too big. Okay, that's about what we're looking for. Okay, so these little air cons, they've been fiddly as tiny little things. They were shaping up quite nicely. They just look too sparkly white. So I have taken some Titan buff and painted over and kind of just knocked them up a little bit. Knocked them up and just bashed them around a little bit, giving them some texture, but that wasn't quite enough. So I'm now going to use some burnt sienna and very fine brush to add some rust. It's time to install a whole bunch of air cons. This piece has been really, really interesting, really fun and really challenging all at the same time. I've used materials I've never used before, polymer clay to make the air conditioners and I've never painted on anything other than paper and canvas. So to paint onto a baseball bat is also something brand new for me. So there's been a lot of firsts and it's been a lot of fun. I always love to get your guys' suggestions. So if you've got a suggestion of a building that you think would make a good piece of art or something you'd like to see me try and tackle creatively, be sure to put it in the comments below. I'll have a look and I'll be picking some for some of my next videos. But right now I've got to work out how to photograph this, which is also going to be a first. So while I work that out, why not have a look at my current favorite video over here? Or you can check out this one. <laughs> 